Can everybody hear me? Yes. yes. During my travels, I have experienced hundreds of diverse cultures and in many cases lived among the various peoples of the world. At one time, I made Japan home base as I was very interested in the way of the samurai. There, I befriended a Japanese sword master who was gracious enough to invite me to all these events. I remember at one particular event, Japanese swordsmen from all over Japan's archipelago of 6,852 islands came together in Tokyo to a place called the Budokan. It is a giant martial arts hall and it was filled with hundreds and hundreds of people. From across the hall, there was this older Japanese gentleman who caught my eye as he was motioning for me to go over there and see him. When I got about arm's distance away from him, he stops me and he says, Kenjutsu wo shutoku suru koto wa lako na michi de wa nai. Which roughly translates to, the way of the samurai sword is a long, arduous path to follow. And then, he takes this big, huge sword and draws it way up out of the side of his sheath and over his head. And he makes this tremendous cut. And then he points to the tatami mat and says, see this first cut? What is its story? And what journey down the mat will it take? Will it be cut only once or twice? Will it be cut several times? Will they be magnificent or inferior cuts? Will they be made with confidence? Will they be focused or not consistent? At the end of the mat, you will have your answers. Then he points to me and says, you're an awful lot like this tatami mat. You have a story, a journey, you know, a path in life. A matter of fact, he said, everybody has a story and a journey in which they'll eventually become experts of. It could be in science, music, education, business, swordsmanship, as he points out through the crowd. With all of us here this evening, our expertise is centered around our work, which takes years to develop. But looking out here, I see a lot of overachievers, experts of application, masters of success. I even see a couple of caped crusaders out here. But you won't see anybody wearing capes this evening, no. Because that would be making too bold of a statement. But they're here, they're here, underneath those tuxes, and gowns, inspiration is ready to beam on through and inspire everyone from far and wide. Instead, humility sets in and we politely walk back to our cubicles, work our keyboards and say to ourselves, someday, someday, which is great if that day comes, but in this new day and age, if you think about it, humility is a form of procrastination that keeps you out of the limelight and that's where you gotta be. A go-getter, a goal-setter, grabbing the bull by the horns and discovering your true potential. Don't do this next month or next week, start today. And remember, if you don't hit your own drum and toot your own horn and rather loudly, no one's gonna hear you or follow. It's very difficult to enable someone and inspire others when they can't hear or see your accomplishments among of all today's white noise and constant distractions. But we can still see a winner, a hero, an expert. So I challenge you to be one too and brighten your story. Being aloof and stoic behind a screen or partition is great, but instead, it could be more advantageous to have the people around you be part of your story. Instead of talking about your journey, have them experience it with you instead. And success for all involved will duplicate itself over and over again. Lead by example, stand a little taller, brighten your story, and help transform your journey and the ones around you for the better.